Welcome back to Guns Up Review. We've talked a lot about guns. We've blown stuff up. We've done a lot of shooting. But one thing we haven't talked about is hearing protection. you got to protect your ears or else you'll be like me. You listen to too much Van Halen in the 80s, and now you can't hear anything. So come on back. We're going to tell you how to protect your hearing today. All right, today we're talking about hearing protection. We're going to start off from here with Buddy Rommel. He's kind of a tactical shooter. He's Johnny Tactical. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Anyway, so he shoots a lot too, and we're going to tell you about some recommendations we have for hearing protection, and we're going to go from zero to tactical hero, okay, and see what you like uh, in between, okay? So number one, you want to start off with something simple. The simplest hearing protection that you can get is just the old reusable foam, squish it and cram it in your ear earplug, right? This is probably uh, the, the most tried and true earplug you can get. If you go into an industrial setting, you're going to be issued these kind of earplugs. Uh, these are really great for, for what they, the purpose that they serve. Um, but when you're shooting, it's not enough, okay? So one of the options, do you, how many of these do you have? Probably two. Okay, just two, just two. He's a starter. Okay, I've probably got 20 pairs of these. Because uh, when you take other people out shooting that don't know how to shoot, inevitably, they're not going to have hearing protection, right? Yeah. Never. And so you've got to, if you're taking people out shooting, take hearing protection for the people that you take out with you. Now, we're starting off with the, kind of the bottom line. Bottom line is you've got some foam earplugs. Those are okay. Okay? The next up from that, these are just cheapy Academy specials, Okay? And these are like $16, okay? They are just muffled hearing muffs. They're, they're, they, uh, again, they're better than nothing, but not the best that you can get. Okay, now if you're going to use these, what else can you do? You can double up. Oh, double up, the old double up trick. You put some foam earplugs in first, then you put these on top of that. Now, what's the problem with that? You can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. Uh, someone can be talking to you. You've been by this guy at the ranch. Hey, what are you doing? Did you just, did you shoot good? Okay, what? Well, you don't have to be yelling at me. It's because you have on five layers of ear protection. You can't hear what's going on, okay? And that's, that's a cheap way to protect your hearing. It's kind of annoying to everybody around you. Now, these are the Academy ones. These are the super cheapies. They're probably, like I said, about $16. You can do a pair of those. Then, you, you know, you really step up to the Remington because it says Remington on it, it's got to be good. Well, actually, they're a little bit higher quality, and they do a little bit better job than the cheapies. They, they're more comfortable on your head. They don't squish your head. After you wear these for a while, it starts just cramming your ear and starts just, it's painful to wear them. These are like $25, okay? So these are slightly better than those. Again, no electronics capability whatsoever. These are just pure ear muffs, okay? Now, we'll jump from there to the very top of the line, and I'll let Romel tell you about these because only people, this is the more more money than sense club would have this. Yeah, I'm a bit of an overachiever. Okay, tell us about those. These are called OpsCore amps. These are about the top of the line thing you can get right now. Uh, these are a connectorized version of a uh, combat hearing pro. This allows you to have your communications headset so you can communicate with your squad while you're shooting at those horrible, awful targets that are not shooting back at you. Uh, <laughs> uh, these bad boys right here you can go scuba diving with. And uh, another really cool feature about these is I can take these off of the headband real quick and then throw them right onto my helmet so I can look even more tactical. Tactical, yes. Yeah, tactical. <laughs> uh, these are also NFMI enabled. OpsCore developed a system where you could actually double up on your ear pro but what's cool is that the electronics involved allow you to still hear everything around you and this has a surround sound system inside of the actual speakers and uh, it sounds like you're almost wearing nothing which is freaking fantastic so this is top of the line this is an electronic earpiece that allow it has amplified sound for just normal sounds but yeah. once it hears that crack of a, of a gun going off uh, it attenuates the sound where it's it's 30, 40 decibels, right? So oh, yeah. it's not very loud at all. I think these go down um, 45 to 50 decibels, Okay, actually. 
And no, I'm not sure. And what would one have to give to have a set of these? Um, an arm, a leg, and then your fifth child. Uh, these bad boys right now are running around twelve hundred dollars MSRP. Okay. So uh, only if you're the coolest guy on the range can you have them. Or you could go buy three Glocks. I mean, whatever you're, you know, whatever you want to do. So. Some people like to have a lot of guns that they never shoot, <laughs> and others like to have one set of really nice equipment, which well, is extremely it. proficient. Okay. I do not own these. This is Rebels, and it, they are super nice. They are super great. So what I want to propose to you today is something kind of middle of the road here. Number one, this is the Howard and Light uh, Impact Sport. Now, this is probably one of the most common, most typically used um, electronic hearing protection that people are going to use. Um, they're about $65 a set, so not crazy, but also, you know, they're six times more than the than the cheapies that you can buy at Academy. So these are going to have the same thing. They're going to have a switch here on the side that you can turn on, and when you're not uh, shooting, it has a, a speaker in here that's going to amplify the sound. So normal speech is amplified and so I don't have to shout when I'm wearing these. So that's kind of nice. However, as soon as a, it hears a shot go off, a crack of a, of a gun, uh, again, the sound is attenuated. And it doesn't, does it attenuate to this level? No. Okay, it, it does not. That's just like a kind of mil spec level there. But this is really good for the money. Yeah, for the money, those are fantastic. I, uh, the amount of times I've been to the range and seen people wearing these, those, these are probably the most popular thing I've ever seen in the range. Yeah, so this is this is these are these are super. They're comfortable to wear all day. Um, the nice thing is is that they they fold up into a very um, compact size, and so you can throw them in your bag um, pretty easy. Now, I'm going to show you one more that is getting back down to the level of these guys, and this is the. Uh, Electronic Shooting Folding Sports Earmuff, which is basically the non-branded uh, Howard & Light uh, muffs. And so let's look at these. Uh, one of the um, suppliers on Amazon sent me a pair of these. And so we'll look at this and see what we got here. We'll unbox these if I can get this sleeve off of here. All right. Okay. What do you get? You get some instructions. Who needs that? You know, these Chinese earmuffs, I would have thought they would come with the El Cheapy batteries, but actually they come with a set of Duracell batteries, that, which is good. Mine came with a pair of Cheapy batteries. It did? Yeah. For 1200 bucks, you'd think you'd get at least a set of Duracells, huh? <laughs> so the quality right here, obviously this is going to be on par with probably not. Oh, yeah. It's not. These, you get a little little uh, auxiliary cable, so you can plug in your, your iPod, I guess, and you can listen to music while you're out at the range shooting. Who would do that? Okay, there you go. And then, here's your earmuffs. Now, you're going to see these things, they are so close to this. They even have, look at this, check this out. They have even have uh, the logo imprinted on the same place on the uh, top of the headset. Uh, they use this, look at this, they use a uh, fabric banding here with the little stripes on it. Look what they use over here. Same fabric banding with the stripes on it. Okay. Same factory question I mark. think, I, yes, this is the same factory. These guys definitely have seen this product, okay? This is a really close thing. The most the most common frustration I have with these, these things, and probably with yours too, I know yours will do this because yours are fancy, but I, I am horrible about going to the range and then forgetting to turn this off. Yeah, these have an auto off feature after about 12 hours. Okay, yeah, these are four hours. So every, at four hours, whether you forget to turn them off, because the next time you go out, your batteries are dead, so frustrating. These, after four hours, they have an auto shut off. So that's a nice thing, because I can never remember to turn these off. Now I've just messed with them. I don't know if they're on or off. I don't think it's off. <laughs> this one, um, wow, look at, I mean, even, even the connectors here. Are, are oh, yeah. the same style. They they definitely have seen these, right? So these are these are some uh, let's just say some economy uh, muffs that are the same. They, they work the same as these guys. Uh, takes a double A battery. Same on off switch here. Has the same texture on the button as these. Has the same sound. Makes the same sound. Uh, 
I imagine over here under this little panel would be your batteries. All right, so I have these on. The sound is amplified and I can talk just like, uh, as if I don't have any hearing protection on at all. Can you hear me? Oh yeah. Why can't you communicate with me? What do you mean? Oh, cause you're not hooked up to me. Oh yeah. Never mind. Okay, so these earphone earmuffs do the same job as these, but these are about $35 a set. So uh, if you're gonna get some earmuffs, I say step it up. Do you have to go crazy? No, not no. at all. You don't have to go crazy at the, at the range. If you want adequate protection that you'll never get hearing damage, do like Ramel said and double up. Wear a set of these, wear you a set of electronic earmuffs, and you're good to go. These are nice because if you're hunting or something, uh, you can get around and still hear leaves crackling and sticks breaking. All that's amplified in here. And a matter of fact, you can turn this up where it's better than I can hear, right? It's like a, like a game ear. Um, but then if you shoot, your ears, your uh, ears are protected. So anyway, my thanks for the guys over here, uh, on eBay. And I, I mean, I'm sorry, on Amazon, uh, at the comfort focus. And, and I'll, I'll put the link to these in the description so you can go to Amazon and get you a pair. Uh, or I'll put the link to these also in, in Amazon. These are basically the exact same thing, um, but these are half the price. They do the, the same job as these do, about half the price. And to be honest with you, they're about the same comfort level. So anyway, I hope this helps you making a good choice on your hearing protection. Keep your ears covered. Keep your eyes covered. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time on Guns Up Review.